to back to Kogi Gabriel section and in this module we are going to be talking about shadows um okay so shadows is the next one shadow so i'm just going to create a folder and name it shadows shadow like that so open this folder with um visual studio code and here is going to be our work space I'm just clear this off so as usual index that's html css inside the css we want to have our style.css which is good so I'm, I'm done with this close this off then we want to have html5 um we want to link to our css from here so the relationship we want to have a style sheets and where it has been located we want to go into css we want to pick up style sheets and close this up like this good 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 so let's just go ahead and create and talk about shadows so shadows are actually kind of shade or uh, a shaded portion after a box or text so that's what is it so i'm going to just have two class of shadow here the one is, is going to be box shadow uh, i don't think this is actually a good a good uh practice box shadow yeah let's just use bs and i'm going to have a div with a class of text shadow so let's go ahead and manipulate this guy so with this div with a class of box sorry box shadow like there so i just want to have a height of 100 pixels width of 100 pixels to probably to 200 is going to be okay and i want to have it with the background color of fire brick and let's open this in the um, copy part let's open this in the browser okay so this is all good let's zoom this up this is all good we just have this guy looking at me like that so i uh, just want to change this to 150 width of 200 and height of 150 that is too small i know okay this is okay i'll just zoom it so okay this is actually all right so the, what we want to do we want to have a shadow around this box now that's what we want to have so to have that we can just say because it is a box we can just say box shadow oh my god dash shadow then the syntax go like okay how do we want to let this shadow view itself so we have something called x axis or x axis y axis level of blur then followed by the color that we want so look at the syntax x axis y axis level of blur b for blur then followed by the color so on the x axis i want to have 10 pixels so x axis is actually 10 pixels y axis i want to have 5 pixels and the color of the shadow I want to have is black. So let's just refresh this and see this together. Look at that. So it's actually working this, this, the way I've actually given it the rule. So on my, oh, sorry, do I just <laughs> missed taking this for this? So this is just the 10 pixels you are seeing right here. This is it right here. So it's the y axis. It is the y axis then followed by the x-axis not x-axis y-axis so okay let's continue this is y-axis of 10 pixels and uh, 5 pixels over of uh, x-axis i've then declared the level of blur that is why we are seeing this in a very sharp form like this if i actually want to declare the level of blur i'm just saying the blur should be 5 pixels <coughs> And you can see it actually works see how blur it is and that is how to create a shadow a box shadow okay 
this is cool all right for a second please give me a second okay so i actually excuse myself to drink water all right back to the tutorial this is just a shadow right here you can see it which is five pixels blur if i want this to be much more blur you can just turn into 10 pixels and you can see the level of blur actually increases so that is how you can actually go ahead and use a box shadow in css let me show you text shadow so what we want to do is just grab this guy so this is tx so that is tx that i that i used so tx i use um we just want to get rid of this and inside the tx i want to throw on each one with the style of margin equals to zero and padding of zero then here i want to show text shadow so just to uh manipulate the kind of display of this that's why i'm having this all right let's change these colors okay sorry i don't need any blindness and uh, let's give this a margin from top of 200 pixels if it's not too much i guess oh that's too much let me just bring this down to the number okay let me just turn this to 100 okay so i can zoom it now um this is text shadow right here so what i wanted to do to this text if I, I don't need this background i don't think i need it i don't even need all this width height of it in just put it right there i just put it right there so, oh my god so what i can do is just declare the width of auto and leave it like that okay this is just the only text that i need right now okay so this text i'm going to give it a color of red and the text is red so i actually wanted to have something similar to this a shadow similar to this so to do that i'm just going to have text shadow so the same thing y axis of 10 pixels x axis of 5 pixels blurness of 10 pixels and the color we want is black you see so he's already maintaining this shadow and because this level of blurness is actually too much and i can reduce this to five so we are having text with a shadow now so this is actually how to use shadow in css you can even go ahead and mix up multiple style of shadows so you can have this paste this and give this some kind of a uh, so it's the kind of a two shadows now so we mix both the black shadows and the red shadows together so you can just adjust this by saying maybe this is three uh that is too small too too small maybe this is 20 or maybe this is 25 i just save this 25 so you see the effects now so we're having two shadows now this is one beneath this is under one this is under one then probably we want to increase this to to some like night so that it can also just come down a little bit so that is how to actually have a text shadow in it's in css using css to have text sh shadow all right guys so let's look at the next one we have in line web fronts okay